So if you have wondered why is it that our chemical cleaning is so expensive and uh, in fact uh, you're right we are probably the most expensive uh, in this field in Singapore. The chemical cleaning method differs very widely in the market and uh, we have to understand what you are dealing with and the kind of te technology that's involved. Failure to do so, it not only is not effective to remove mold and bacteria, it can create even more problem than necessary. So we have to first understand, when we talk about chemical cleaning, what is this chemical? It is delusive. It's, uh, it gives people a wrong expectation when the term chemical cleaning is used because people may get the wrong idea that it must be some special chemical with probably medicinal properties that gets rid of mold that gets rid of bacteria but if I were to tell you that this chemical that all aircon companies are using is in fact a chemical called sodium hydroxide which is also known as the rig cleaner then you know that ha huh, we are just dealing with a very strong industrial soap that is used to clean the oil rig this chemical is very alkaline is right at the extreme scale of alkalinity if undiluted this chemical touches your skin it's gonna burn your skin if you dilute it maybe about 50% 70% it may not burn your skin but your skin will feel very very soapy and once you are in contact with this chemical you run under the tap for an hour and it is still soapy this is how alkaline it is so you have to scrub it underneath the water for a few minutes before you no longer feel soapy so if you are dealing with such chemical you have to make sure that your water pressure is strong enough or rather you need very high pressure water jet so the water from your tap at most is 150 psi that sort of pressure is not good enough so we are talking about pressures that is minimum 500 psi to 1500 psi two problems associated when the water pressure is not strong enough first is that it doesn't remove that chemical and continues to stay up and corrode your fan coil so you end up damaging your system number two is that the having covered in my previous video about bacteria and mold so this biofilm is a kind of water bacteria that is quite intelligent in such a way that they colonize in such a way that it thickens until it becomes like a jelly. So when it's so thick, any chemical that's been sprayed on the surface only destroys the top layer. The inside colony is still protected. So to, 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 to think that the chemical can kill the bacteria is a very very wrong assumption and um, so so if um, then why in the first place do we use that chemical so we use this chemical so that it actually separates the uh, the stubborn stain which includes the bacteria and the mold from the surface of the aircon but um, it's erroneous to assume that it will kill the bacteria so after it's been separated what do we do we use very high pressure water flush them off the system that is the method that we are using so and uh, we also hear some very strange methods in the uh, market which which claims that they are using probably organic chemical cleaner that is uh, that is uh, that is good for the environment but the fact is that is this gonna work I'm I'm not too sure about that and I doubt so because for the very same reasons that I have explained before that 
the uh, bowel film is very thick. So if your chemical is organic, but can it kill the bacteria or not? It still doesn't kill the bacteria. So, but, and this organic chemical, is it strong, as strong as this industrial chemical? I doubt so. But even if it's as strong as this chemical, then uh, you still need a very high pressure water to clear, to, to, to flush them out of the system. So, the, but it deals with the psychology of end users. Sometimes end user thinks that oh you don't want this strong chemical to continue to stay in the fan coil and it's bad for the system because the residue chemical is bad for health. It all stems from lack of knowledge because you get worried. You don't know what is the chemical you're dealing with. Is it bad for health or not? But having said so, having explained that this is sodium hydroxide, it's a very very strong soap. So then you know that it's not going to cause you any problem except that it will actually corrode your fan coil if it's not washed properly then the other thing that we want to cover is the uh, the issue of mold mold is something that's very difficult to destroy because if you examine it right at the uh, dna level uh, it, it is um, something that don't have what we call a kill string so technically speaking, they, they don't die. They, they are so difficult to destroy. You, even if you use, you boil them in water, they don't die because you have to raise the temperature above 140 degrees before they die or they go into a dormant state. I'm not too sure about that. So, and one of the common mistakes people make is that they use this um, steam cleaner in an attempt to remove more. The fact is that it will not because how hot is your steam? 100 degrees Celsius. But you need at least 140 degrees Celsius to do the job. So likewise, um, and another characteristic that we need to understand of Mo is that any attempt to destroy them, for example by steaming or you put chemical, very strong chemical on it, they, they become stressed up. And when this Mo is stressed up, they produce mycotoxin. So they become even more toxic. So, and uh, as a result, chemical cleaning that, that does not flush the mold out of the system um, can be even more dangerous. So, having established that, this defines our cleaning method because we use a pressure as high as 1,500 PSI. Um, ever since we got our international pattern and uh, ever since we have uh, begin to release videos on the internet we are beginning to see a lot of company uh, beginning to use uh, pressured water to clean to, to do the job but unfortunately a lot of the technologies that we see in the market um, are technologies that we started off uh, 10 years ago and uh, we know its limitations and we know uh, the problems that is associated. Most of the technologies um, do not do the maximum 1,500 PSI. And uh, due to the uh, pressure nozzle which is not versatile enough, it cannot reach certain parts of the aircon like the back of the aircon and the inside of the aircon. So because of limitations like this, limitations where the water collection tray is uh, is not part of the machine it's just something that you hang there you you don't use too much water and you don't use very high pressure water uh, for reason of that water tray and for reason of the water container some users such so little water they, they just use a, a water bucket and that's good enough for the job but if you are using water pressure of such nature and then you don't take up that water drum and clean from inside out, outside in, chances are the uh, you are just pushing things further into the fan coil. And uh, after you spin that blower, which is full of mold, the mold becomes dislodged and splatter and deposits onto the inside of the fan coil, which you can't see. So on the surface, it looks like a perfectly well done job. 
where the heat exchanger is already restored to silver color but in reality is that the chemical remains the mold has become toxic and the bacteria is not totally removed and they are all depositing on the inside of the aircon so this may also explain why after like just a few days or maybe a week after chemical cleaning the aircon begins to smell weird because of uh, reasons like this so we have invested many years into R&D into the study of the subject and uh, we have perfected our skills and uh, equipment in the field of uh, non dismantled chemical cleaning so and as a result we do the best job in this field and typically it takes about one to one and a half hours to clean one aircon properly thank you for listening to my presentation